Hi, I'm Norma from A1 Craft and Quilting here to show you more of our Blue Wren dies. Now we had a request from someone with a small cutter wanting to cut a nine inch circle. We thought, nah, can't be done. That we thought, maybe it can be. We have a way. We have made magic circles. We have six inch, seven inch, eight inch and nine inch circles. Now, they also cut semicircles. I will show you how these work. This is what they look like. We have the nine inch. It is a circle, believe me. 8 inch and 6 inch. I have the 7 inch and I'm about to show you how it's done. Start with a length of fabric that you want to cut into circles. Now the die has, along here, has got a blade. We're not going to use this for this particular thing. It already has an etching on there for our circles not for our semicircles at this stage. So I line the fabric folds up with that etching. So we'll just fast forward this a little bit. I have pre-pressed this, you don't have to, but I did that just to speed up this video. You can finger press if you like. to make sure it's got no creases in it. Put it there along that etching. So I put a mat on top. Now when I use this machine it needs a shim. Two of our mats make the ideal shim for this machine. The little fella doesn't need a shim, just a mat on top. Now if we put one mat on top, two mats on top or three mats on top, it doesn't matter. And so we put it through the cutter. And wave our magic wand. Voila. And I have perfect circles. they are perfect. So now I'm going to show you how to make the semicircles using the same die you just saw me use to make the circles. This time we're going to cover the entire blade area before we came up to the etched line where we folded the fabric. This time we're going over a little bit to give ourselves a seam allowance so you can have different colours. I have six layers of fabric. So, there's the blades. You can see the blades. We just have to cover it. We don't have to line it up absolutely perfect, just as long as we're covering the blades. Again, we use our mats whichever way we wish. This time I think I'll put one underneath, just to be different. Now there's our semicircles, which perfectly cut, no loose threads, no caught threads, perfect. Now I'm going to cut the three left over from the earlier fabric, just so I've got something to put with some of those. Two on top, oh, three on top. Roll it through. And once again, 
another three. So there we have our semicircles. Place some right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam. Here it is sewn and pressed towards the dark side. If you have a need for circles and they are identical, absolutely perfect, you can mix and match. Here is your solution if you've only got a six inch wide cutter. Thank you for watching.